Hi guys, welcome back. Um, if you've watched the uh, previous two, you've just seen we've just done our bolt stopper and our corkscrew. Okay, so I've got a bolt stopper and a corkscrew. So now we're going to do a bottle opener. One of these ones. Okay. So I've drilled the hole. Okay, I've drilled a five five mil hole and then tapped it with a M6 tap. Just a normal metal tap, just so that that can screw up in there, okay? Right, so I'm just going to put this between centers and get it to a cylinder. Right, I'm just uh, looking up what I'll do is I'll just do it with a, I've already got the center hole there, so I'm just going to roughly eyeball that, it's pretty much centre, okay, in there, again I'm just going to do a very simple, very simple shape on this, nothing, nothing over fancy or it's only a, uh, a little handle on it, so, right, there's about right, that's about my centre, I can see. A little bit low actually. Just a little bit low. Right, okay. Again, I'm just using the uh, the standard free set. Okay, I've just got the square, the round, and the detail chisel. Okay, I'm just using those, those three chisels. That's all I've done for these few bits. Right, face shield on. And I'll get this brought down to round first. I'm using it, I'm using it flat because at the end I just want it to to get it down quick and I've got a lot quite a lot of wood to remove here so I'm going to do is see if I can put that into my shark jaws, I think. Shark jaws or normal? No. Actually, I think a normal chuck, so I'll put a little dovetail on it. So then if I come in, just roll it over, and that'll put me a perfect dovetail, okay? Just like that. Alright, so now I can put that in the chuck which means I'll be able to pile it off at the end and get rid of that. Don't watch because we've got a little chip out there, okay? Right, now then, what jewels are we going to go on those ones? No, we're going to go on these ones. Right, okay. Right, tight, quarter, that's it, tight enough. Right, I'm going to bring my centre back up, because I can. 
So that's just stop any vibration. I'm quite a way out from the truck there. Yeah, so there's, there's nothing wrong with just using the cutter going in flat. Just be aware though, you're gonna dull it a lot quicker by using it that way. It's like anything, all your chisels. All your chisels, you're gonna dull them if you just use them for, for scraping. They dull, dull a lot quicker. No matter what metal it is, whether it's carbide, whether you use diamond, anything you use, if you're using it for scraping, it will always dull quicker. If you use it to cut, it lasts you a lot longer. Right. I'm going to take this down this way. Now I've got to work out how long I want this. I think probably about that length. Now what I don't like with this is you've got this thread but it's just such a small bit at the end there. It's better if that was flared out or something because if I turn that down to that thickness, when you do a bottle, you're gonna, it's just going to snap, on it? It's not going to last very long. So I'm going to have to do this a bit thicker on the end here than what I would actually like it to be. So I'm going to be for about that at the end there. Yeah. So I'm going to have to be, I think. I'm going to come in about there. That's going to be big enough. going to be big enough. I'm going to use the part and the just to come in and get where the end is going to be. Again, just a simple torpedo shape. A little bit on the end there. Just that matches the bottle stopper. That as a little button. We'll try to clean up with the, the uh, square. Just like we would with a skew. So something just there, I can feel. Probably a bit of a knot. 
Right, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a couple of little beads in. I'm going to use the, I'm going to use the spindle gouge. I'm going to put a couple of little beads, little beads in it. I think there might be something on that well, I think there might be a light, a little knot or something there, I'm not sure. I can feel it. I think it's a knot or something there. Right, that's all right there. Okay, let me get this. Take them down a little bit more here. Right, I'm going to sand that before I go too far. I think it's a crack, but I think there's definitely something there. It could be a knot or something. We'll find out when we finish. Sanding paste. Oh, sanding Sorry? Oh, yeah, a bit of sanding filler first. Good thinking, back woman. <laughs> I knew there was a reason why you were here. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I thought, what's she standing there for? <laughs> and now I know, that's what you're here for. To remind you of things. To remind me. <laughs> Yeah, the old gun. Hang on, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Let me do this first. That's it. I'll take this off. Yeah, the um, golf weekend, Whitby. Fantastic. Didn't know about it until last week. Um, the other week, yeah, we was told about it. Apparently, it's all in aid for. Um, it started up in 1994 for 
a young girl, a girl called, Sophie. called Sophie. She was actually killed. She was kicked to death by a group of boys because of the way she dressed. Which is pretty bloody sad, really, isn't it? You know, it's terrible. Someone could get killed just because of the clothes they wear. But there you go. And uh, they've had this every year since 1994. Yeah. So, and of course, with Whitby being, um, yeah. they've got. Where yeah, Bram, Sto that, Bram they, Stoker yeah, wrote the book for, for Dracula. Dracula. Um, so th it's, there's a lot about Dracula, the history of Dracula, and all that in Whitby, mm. and they're very much into all that sort of stuff. But yeah, it's fantastic. It's really, it a really good day. And so we got dressed up. Yeah. So that was really good. We did put some pictures on Facebook. So. Yeah. If you go under the Whitby. Uh... And uh, Goth Weekend the, 2023, you'll see our pictures there. Yeah, you see the pictures <laughs> on there. We was there parading ourselves around the town. <laughs> really good, really good day. <laughs> and they do it twice a year. They do it in April, and they do it again in October, which is for Halloween as well. So you know, if you're into, you like your Halloween stuff and all that, and you want to be able to dress up and really go to town on it, come to Whitby. It's the place to be. Whitby's the place to be for it. You can really let yourself go. <laughs> There's some really good ones there, really, god, really good. The, the, the makeup and the costumes, oh my god, people really go to town on it. They really go to town. <laughs> some of them, I think, spend thousands of pounds on their yeah. outfits. They really do. Yeah, they really do. But it's all in a good cause as well, really, when you think about it, to keep it. Keep the memory of the young girl yeah. and Sophie. You know, like I say it's, it is a very sad world. You know, when you think of what goes on in it. Right, that's got a nice, uh, nice bit of shine to it. I'm sure there's no wax in those uh, beads. Right, okay. Nice detail. Well, I'm gonna come in with my skew okay. for that final bit. I always tend to, if I do anything like this, I tend to use the skew to part this last little bit off. Hold it with a tissue so I don't mark it. There we go, and it's off. That gives me a nice little finish on the end there, which really don't need much at all to into it. And I'll just, uh, yeah, that'll do. Uh, just rub a little bit of wax onto that. That's it, that finishes that end off. Nice nice bit of shine to that. <laughs> yeah, there was, I said there, I thought there was a little like knot there, mm -hmm. and there is, just in right in that bead there, there's a knot. So well, I'm holding on to it like this because I don't want to get me hands. And then, like I said, I will, I will glue these, but I'm just putting them in for now. So you get the idea. As you see, I think that's a bit of a a thin bit on that end to come down to. I don't know. Yeah, it'd probably be all right. Right, so there we go, guys. There's the um, there's the bottle stop bar. Bottle opener. Uh, bottle opener. Stop a bottle opener. <laughs> yeah. Open then stop. <laughs> there we go. 
So we've got that. We've got our corkscrew. And we'll get our bowl stopper. So there we go, guys. That's our, uh, our three bits. Okay. I really like that. I like the way that the handle turned out really nice, yeah, doesn't it? Look at nice that. Nice shine to it, that. Oh yeah, well that's my my um that's your paste. My paste and my wax, so right there we go guys, just three quick little projects. So and all done with the just a standard type three set like there. Okay. And obviously just using the parting tool just to do the end bits and me little I just use my little skew. You can use the detail chisel if you want to part it off. You can stop and saw it off if you want. A lot of people stop and saw it off, especially if you're new to turning, it can be easier. For me, I just use my little skew, I come in and I get that nice clean, clean finish cut on the end. So, but there you go. So there, could that be another giveaway I could do, can <laughs> I? Right. Sign, sign it for... <laughs> some, some poor sod's going to get all this crap I'm turning, I tell you. <laughs> right, there we go, guys. That's it. Actually, I... actually you had an email on that from oh, Paul, Paul Westlake. All right. Yeah, Paul. <laughs> Paul said he'd have all the bits that you want to throw away. <laughs> oh, because I said I'd burn them. Yeah, you burn them. Yeah, I tend that... to throw... <laughs> Things get thrown in the fire because I just don't want them. I don't keep them. <laughs> I just don't turn them for show, really, to show people. He says he wished he, so... lived, he lived nearer to us. <laughs> he would have had them all. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, right, that's it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your bank holiday weekend. Because you've still got tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And then you've got another bank holiday weekend next weekend. Because old uh, Charlie gets his uh, bit, doesn't he? <laughs> he gets his bit. <laughs> he gets his pint Coronation Street or something. God, I know they said street. something about it. I think something about He's got a day in yeah. Coronation Street or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I didn't get an invite, so, you know, well. <laughs> I don't want to go anyway. I'm not going. I'm not going into right. London. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going. I'm not taking. I'm not travelling all that way. <laughs> Right, <laughs> I'll sit and watch it on telly. <laughs> Actually, I'll probably won't. No. Probably do something else. Probably be out. Right, anyway, thank you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Toodle pit. Maybe we do another bowl just using the standard type three set. Okay, and we do we do a bowl or something just so people know. So that's it. Right, okay, guys. See you on the next one. Toodle pit. Bye, guys. <laughs>